again. Episode 14. Dwarf Fortress, Memgazroth. Ah, uh, Nerkuti, the Lake Forge, and Salon Lugem, Logem, Heisak. It's created Bershet Beth Kugen Dwar. A ding a bone bracelet, which doesn't do me any much good, but let's take a look. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> I thought for a second that said Earth and Twinkies. Earth and Twinkles, the Sandy Colonies. So I suppose. Twinkly Earth would sand would be Twinkly Earth. This bracelet is a uh, well, it's a ding bone bracelet. Our craft dwarf ship is and is decorated with ding bone. That's quite awful. It's it's the bare minimum. This late in the game, you'd think they'd be doing better. <sighs> All right, new episode. Like I just said, uh, I needed a train of thought probably. So still lots of wood everywhere. How are these coming along? Not very well. Uh, I got someone free dom freedom suggesting ways I can get through here it actually once I had a chance to review uh, the suggested way was one that has occurred to me in, in the past with other places I think the complication here was that technically the hole started above water or below water actually sorry so having a sort of a giant boulder of several levels worth of uh, stone and stuff falling down in would work, but there wasn't any present, except maybe through here if I'd been smart. Ah, well, that's fine, that's fine. We'll still get down there. It'll just be a different challenge. Uh, our little wooden... Ooh, wait a minute. We don't want... See, this is going to be such a pain, but we don't want trees right next to the walls if we can help it, because I assume things are going to try to use that as a means for getting over them. Th not that these walls really slow anything down all that much, but anything, you know, you do a war, uh, ooh, English is not necessary in this uh, live stream. It's not even a live stream. What am I talking about? Oh my god. I'm quite dis <laughs> discombobulated now. Um, I just don't want them getting over it, and if anything that will give the dwarves a chance to run for cover is good enough for now. I don't believe we've yet even had a serious attack of any sort. But because I have often seen in past fortresses trolls swim and other things swim, uh, probably. And just because I don't want these guys wonking over the ice in the winter. Let's get some of that going now. I mean, they're got a lot of work left to do, but let's get this going. Just so I, I re realize now that in a much earlier episode, I thought of starting to do this and then never did. Ooh. Oh, I forgot one right here. So, long, arduous week for me. Next week's going to be a long, arduous week. I would be recording more probably if I didn't have quite so much other things to do. Though, to be honest, uh, a lot of time is being lost right now on... Is this right? S friggin' Starbound. Side-scrolling kind of builder game. I quite like it. The problem with Starbound is, whoops, I don't want, I don't want floor, I want fortification. Uh, every time I come back, I've played it a few times, every time I come back to it, they've certainly, um, mm, this is going to be a tough spot. Let me do this. Uh, and I did floors again. The game has changed significantly, so it's sort of, you know, fresh air, just so to speak, but it's unlike Minecraft or, or Dwarf Fortress, the potential for continued sort of endless gaming isn't quite there, and I realize that's sort of a taxing thought, but at, at some point it just sort of, you've done everything and you you stop playing. I'm probably actually getting close to that point now, which is just as well, because it's sucked up a lot of time. I mean, I have over on the PlayStation over there... Um, Alternatives that I owe time to, and it's kind of a silly thing to say you owe time to a game, but I haven't finished Witcher 3, I haven't finished Fallout 4, I haven't finished um, oh, something else, but also just got Andromeda, and that's taken some time. What I'm actually doing a lot, though, is still playing uh, No Man's Sky. 
which I realize people are like, why? <laughs> I actually reached not quite the center, the very, as close to center as I can get without figuring out what the difference is. Uh, and now I'm just sort of exploring there and I'm, I haven't yet set up a base because I haven't found the quote unquote prettiest base yet, but I'm working on it. Just a little bit here and a little bit there. Well, we made 20 leather shoes. I bet you're all excited about that. Uh, Ushvir Nakuthtubul, Ghostly Mark's Dwarf has been put to rest. I'm guessing that is by way of... Oh. DN. Let me get rid of this. By way of snabs, since that's the only things being put up at the moment. Is that the slab? No. Mestos. Still waiting for arrival. Was it this one? Yeah, okay. Let's see. What were you all about, Ushvir? Exceptional Quartzite Memorial to Ushvir and Nakuthtubul. In memory of so-and-so, born 162, drowned in the year 233, creator of Bolt Glum. Bolt Glum? Bolt Glum. I have no Bolt Glum. Wait, 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 wait. Bolt Glum would be one of these things in the middle. I was looking at the wrong... Bolt Glum! Okay, tetrahedrite rings. So not... Ooh! Valuable, but not very useful. I should probably track to see if these things are ever in use by anybody, being worn or well, uh, wielded or anything. Tekud, you need to be taken back. I need to, you know, seal this off. Oh, well, I've got another one here. More also slabs. Mestos. Let's take a look at Mestos. Maybe we did last time. Born 147. Drowned in the year 233, around the same time. Lover of the flowery pregnancy. What? Love... Oh, so like lover of quartzite, but of something specific? Because otherwise it sounds like there was like a demigod kicking around or something. So looks like we still have another one, and we need walls over here. Well, we need this one sealed up before we continue. That's part of what makes these things so slow to install is, you know, you have to wait for pe people to drag everything up into place. They do it one bit at a time, and then I have to seal the door before I can f really even start the next one up. And then I have to take down all the scaffolding afterwards, which you can see is happening here. It's kind of nice to see these guys work pretty fast on certain things. Like these walls, or these uh, fortifications, these wooden fences really, are going up pretty dang fast. I had to do this bit where... Are those floors? That's, that's a dang floor. Screw it. BC capital F, thank you. Fortification. So far they've been like... Oh, Goram uh, hazelnut, which I like consistency, so that's fine. More of the same. I do it like this first to ensure they don't trap themselves uh, or have to like cancel production on one of these things. And then uh, when they've done that, when they've done the ones, I will then come in and sort of have them put in the corner here like so. Like one, not with a floor, but with a fortification, a corner would go here. You can see them undone here. It's kind of a way to go. This will take a while. <laughs> yeah, it'll take a while. But <laughs> they do it fast. It, the more the while part is me just trying to designate bit by bit by bit. Just because I think it's a fairly nifty position, I'm going to add a house here at the. Yeah, is that, is that particularly disruptive, does anybody think? You know what it might be is a small temple that, or something that relates to all of these, uh, these guys here. Is that, how many, that's an even number? I want an odd number. Oh, I can't do any more than that anyway, so. Mm, 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 mm. There we go, okay. Sorry. Ah, uh, what shall we use? Granite, I want to, ooh, keep for other things. And I should be smarter than this, actually. Let's just put down the floor first. So that's seven by seven, because that's the thing that actually needs a fair amount of material. I was gonna put all those walls in and then delete most of them, which in retrospect, yeah, in retrospect is overkill. So we'll do slate quartzite, actually. Let's do quartzite. Uh, presumably we'll have a uh, 
stairwell in here somewhere. So let's put that here actually, and then put in a, whoops, connectors, and then get rid of this, NBCX, put in a very respectful cobaltite up and down stair system. And then from that, we can then do, do we want, what do we want for walls? We don't have enough of anything particularly interesting, so let's do slate. Get that started. And that way, our uh, we can just plan ahead that our fortifications or fence, to be more accurate, uh, don't run afoul of this. From the looks of it, look at these. I found... Well, let's just do this. Uh, and actually, let's do this. That opens up some space. Uh, but I found these which I found was, whoops, wrong way, <laughs> down, down, well, I only came down here originally because I was interested in getting some more gabbro and maybe granite flowing through those who carve blocks, just because we're going to need them, how about, whoa, getting some of this too, what is this stuff, well, that's a real clean thing, one, two, three, that's cool. I like that. And then um, get some more. Ha! Nice even, except not even numbers. Nice clean numbers, we'll say. And then this room. Is that big enough? We'll do a downward trend as well. That'll do. So these Warrens <laughs> uh, should be extensive for the defense. In fact, maybe this will even become the inner fort someday. Who knows? But I need more blocks because in part I've decided to yank out the Gabriel roads and just put in floor because it's much more durable. It doesn't come under attack by trolls and things as these, or, you know, angry dwarves have ripped out my roads before. Uh, but that will then, of course, require significantly more material to lay them down. That's all right, I guess. I was just looking real quickly at missing spots of, well, upper management, I suppose you could say. And I don't have a champion. I don't even really know exactly what a champion does. But I find I assigned the captain of the guard to that position, Kogan uh, Ailankosov, Heel Palace, who has... Just a few kills. <laughs> the captain of the guard has only just taken out a couple of animals. That's great. Uh, there really hasn't been a whole lot happening here. But now they need an office, so I don't know where that's going to be or when that's going to be, frankly. Now, in alternative or fake news, let's see. Just cut that tree. Uh, where did I. Oh, my brain. Yes, here it is. Uh, the temple's going to be two-sided, and it's going to have like a ramp in between the two. So it's going to be sort of a second bridge, but a, a holy second bridge. Oh, this is quite frustrating. I can't finish this because they won't build a wall because the memorial's in the way. But if I tried to say, take, please dump and take away the memorial, they never do it. I cannot, for the life of me, get them to prioritize waste removal. I don't know... I just don't know how, I suppose. <laughs> Another tower here because, unfortunately, there are uh, more sarcophagi in... Uh, no, needed. At least one, because I've got this guy here. And day a tier on Shen, but also, with winter coming up pretty quick, there's this guy I have to rescue as well. So if you guys can remember that it two off this little corner here, have a rescue to do. Well, post-mortem rescue anyways. Gosh, okay, so this is the problem. I just put in a ramp. This guy is on the roof, thirsting to death, next to someone who presumably has and is now leaving a hole in my military, my melee guard, which is like the elite, well, <laughs> half-decent military, novice wrestler, that doesn't help, adequate fighter, yeah, you'll go in. Man, that stinks. The way is the problem. Fortifications are deadly. I don't even. I just don't even, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to have to put one up on the other side just in case, too. This must have been what was happening down below. 
as well because this is just absurd. People, they must be wrestling themselves over the fortifications and onto whatever happens to be below, which in the other case was the water, and here now is the roof. And please, somebody come along before the guy dies. All right, good. He at least, he, she, Sidur. Who are you, Sidur? Z kills. Square patterns the blind ogre. That's interesting. Within the last season, he, okay. That was a 50 for 50 chance, I suppose. Was uneasy after lack of decent meals for too long. I can imagine. That is so horrible. Gosh, Stukos Doki Klikot, you shouldn't have fallen off the roof. Yes, they're practicing on the roof. Because, uh, freaking Kia. Freaking buzzards. They kept driving people up in the trees. So now we got people sort of in a spot where they can keep an eye on and shoot at flying birds flying overhead. Uh, it's something I suppose I can try to do. Let me put some slate wall on this side as well for no good reason. Ah, they have such a backlog now of <laughs> things to put into place between this and this road and this new portion of the road down here, which will come past this uh, tower and wrap around it someday, come over these hills. Ooh, and we've got ice going. So soon we can rescue that guy, which means how are our spire crypts coming along? This one needs some walls. I can't believe I'm already coming up on what will be the end of the episode before much longer. A wall. And before that happens, I actually wanted to mention actually that I've been, I've only really just started, and actually Asmel here, let me do this real quick first. Asmel, born, drowned, devoted husband, so not that interesting. But anyways, uh, I've watched a couple, two or three episodes now, uh, hopefully I'm not pronounce, mispronouncing this, but Krug Smash, also doing Dwarf Fortress, extremely different uh, style of doing this kind of stuff, which I think is, of course, good. Whoops. Floor. Floors in these are always slate, and we have plenty of slate. <laughs> he does like illustrations of his characters, and you know, they're they're cheesy illustrations, but that's very much an on purpose kind of thing. They're they're perfectly suitable. And he focuses a lot of attention on the individual dwarfs, which I really don't. I try, but I, <laughs> then I forget very quickly to even bother. I'm more about building. I like to try to more emulate the alternative if I can pull it off meanwhile this dang thing let's try again still hasn't been moved so I still can't finish the dang spire if anybody has a hint for how to get dumping to be a high priority that would be freaking fantastic but yeah anyways sort of a shout out I guess to Krug Smash and uh, the at least one of the one Dwarf Fortress community on Facebook that I am aware of anyways where I, I have been seeing his posts. Holy cow, they finally removed it. Finally removed it. So that means... Whoa. Strange. Uh, that means I can finally move on with my life and seal this whole thing up and tear that whole scaffolding down and be done with yet another Crypt Spire. Uh, in a very nitpicky way now, I'm also cleaning out the debris where trees fell down onto fortifications like here whoops no not slate fortification hazel wood seems to be my favorite right now oh 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 wait no it's just the river i mean there's reasons to get down into the river to get rid of let's say some wood uh, but then again, there's so much wood, there's no way I'm going to get them to haul away the ones just in the bottom of the river in the very short period of time it will be frozen. So that's not going to work. But I can at least have them pull that one person out of the water over here. Right here? Yes! Okay. I'll come for them in a minute. Uh, let's see, what else? Do I need this? Yes, I do need to fill that. I don't want to leave any holes in the fortifications. Looking good overall. 
significant progress. This I have slowed way down everything I was working on in regards to this stuff, but I can continue nevertheless. Oh, here's a hole, hole, hole. It's probably a good time. I mean, it might make it, whoops, a little bit of a short episode. I really do need to get more comfortable with the buttons so that I don't keep flashing the escape screen up all the time. Uh, but has anybody else fallen off a roof lately? No. Okay, good. Yeah. What is this? Seeds. Okay, that's fine. Uh, tearing down all these trees does mean the availability of fruit's going to dry up, so I'll have to be careful about food in the future, I assume. Meanwhile, these two bits, these chestnut logs, need to be moved out of the way. So I can finish that bit up. But as you can see here, TN, priority one, we got some right here, and then here, and here. The wood keeps falling down. It's very unseemly I suppose but yeah short episode or not I think I'll call it here call it an episode we've done okay and uh, I'll probably start immediately recording the next for the week after just because over the next week I'm likely to be <laughs> getting help with uh, building a uh, sort of a well a PC it's the First PC I'll have owned in a very long time. I switched to Mac ages ago, back when it made more sense. But ever since Steve Jobs, tyrant though he might have been, uh, moved on, shall we say, uh, I feel like the company is falling flat a little bit and it's focused more on volume rather than quality. But it used to, I mean, when I switched away, I had Dells, and you know, I know Dells aren't worth crap anymore either, even though for a while they were good. It was just, you know, blue screens of death every couple hours. And then the Mac would be like the bouncing beach ball of death every, like, once every six months. It was a huge difference. And there was, you know, for a developer and an artist, um, it was a completely appropriate tool. Well made, very, it's just good. And Linux, being based on a Linux operating system is always a good idea anyways. But I don't think they're really following through anymore, so... And another thing about that actually is I'll just leave the MacBook at my office at work, have this one here at home, and I will walk the 10K slash six miles in between a few times a week to just get back into health a little bit. Maybe work my way up to, what am I looking for? Hazel, right? Where's the hazelnut? Hazelnut, where are you? Oh, it's a floor, so that's why it wasn't remembering. Um, a 10k run <laughs> hobble more likely 10k hobble in November so white coat away is off but you know it gives me some time to get back into moving anyways good enough I'll see you guys next time have a good one <laughs>